I've made my way about seven hours north of where I live to a little town in South Carolina named Myrtle Beach. Well, it's probably not so little anymore, but this place is very special to me because 26 years ago, my wife and I actually honeymooned here after our wedding. So I got some really cool things I'd like to share with you guys. This is probably a great place to do that. You know, I love Myrtle Beach and I'm so glad to be able to share today's vlog with you guys from this location. I mean, it's a it's a beautiful beach. It's a gorgeous day today. It's about 60 degrees, um, so it's nice and cool, but it's also nice and sunny, so it's, it's just gorgeous. And you know, as I mentioned in my intro that my wife and I honeymooned here 26 years ago, it's important for me to begin this vlog with that because you know, Proverbs says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And, you know, my wife is my best friend, and I love her dearly. And, you know, 26 years ago when we made the commitment to each other, we didn't really have any idea what, what awaited us um, in the days that came after that. But we did know that we had each other and that we loved each other and that we were going to serve each other and, and make our way through life together as a, as a couple. And, you know, I am a very busy man. Uh, I, I do a lot of things. Um, if, you, if you have any opportunity to spend time with me, you probably quickly find that out. I, I don't have a whole lot of free time in my life. And I often overcommit because I love to, I love to do. I love to fix. I love to create. I'm a very creative person. And so vlogging, what I found in vlogging is a passion, something that I really love is it gives me an opportunity, one, to connect with people, and two, to create cool things, just run out of my imagination. Whatever I can think of, you know, I can just do it. And then I can also share it with you guys, which is really awesome. And I, I really enjoy it. But sometimes what that causes me to do is you know, along with all my other obligations in my life, it's easy for me to overlook things that are important. And one of the things that came to my attention uh, two weeks ago is that I was neglecting my relationships. Um, neglecting my relationship with my wife, you know, I was just kind of assuming that everything was okay. And not that anything's, not that anything's messed up, you know, not that we're in trouble, but, you know, sometimes you have to have this reevaluation of of who you are and what you do and and prioritize uh, the things that you do in your life we got to have priorities and so you know if you follow me on Instagram uh, I put up a, a picture I think it was two weeks ago and I and I had these big plans I, I said you know I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go visit with Dan Hatcher which is a friend of mine in Palm Bay and I called Dan last minute and I canceled. So Dan, I'm gonna do my best to get back with you in the next couple of weeks because I really would love to tell your story. I believe that your story is important and your story is really significant, especially in Central Florida skateboarding, um, not just in the sport, but in the lives of these kids that you've invested in all these years. So I appreciate your grace, man, and thank you for an opportunity to, uh, to put off uh, getting together and I promise you I'll be back in touch and, and we'll make that happen here very shortly. You know, priorities are incredibly important and you know, it's easy sometimes for us to lose sight of things that are important to us, especially sometimes the things that are closest to us. We can, uh, we can oftentimes take those things for granted. And what I realized over these last couple of weeks and the reason why I've been MIA is really because I, I really need to focus on my relationships. I need to focus on where I prioritize my time. You know, my wife is my first priority, and then my children, and then all the other things that I do. And so I've decided that I really need to keep different parts of my life separate. And I've looked at, I've got friends that vlog every day and I've evaluated whether that's something I think I can do. And, and the reality is I don't, I don't think that, one, I don't think that that makes sense for my life. And two, I don't know that I could create great content for you every day. Um, I've also decided that 
I probably need to keep certain aspects of my life personal. You know, there's no, there's no reason for me to, to share absolutely everything that I do. Um, first of all, you probably wouldn't find that very important. And second, I probably need time to decompress and I need time to just spend with my wife and my dog and, and just, just kind of relax and be me, you know? What I share with you guys is unique. Um, what I share with you guys is, it is personal. It is my real life. It's not hype. I'm not going to create videos for the sake of trying to create videos and get clicks and watches and subscribers. I, I'm not really into that. I didn't actually start this whole YouTube thing um, because that's what I was chasing. Really, I just want an opportunity to share my life with you guys and hopefully inspire you with some things that I do and my creativity and just my faith. You know, ultimately, my hope is that if you're in a place where you need some encouragement or, or you need somebody to help you or, or you're looking for something, you know, that, that God would inspire me to give you something that, that you need, you know, that maybe you can't find anywhere else. We live in a, a really cool information age and so why not take advantage of that and share with you guys uh, life and positivity and faith and, and relationship with God because that's where you're really going to find real life. So, there might be periods in my vlogging pattern where I might upload a couple of vlogs in a row. Um, there might be periods where I go MIA for a few days or a week or so, and, and I need you guys to be cool with that. But what I do promise you is that what I do put up for you is something that I believe is important, something that I think that you would be uh, really stoked on, and, uh, and something that has some kind of significance. Let's don't... Let's don't hang out together through this vlog um, just for the sake of growing a YouTube channel. You know, there's thousands if not millions of people out there doing that. So let's do something different. With that, I want to share some really cool developments that are going on. Um, you know, I speak about being busy. Uh, I'm actually adding to that busyness a little bit. But what's cool is God's bringing people alongside of me to take the burden and actually share some of that busyness so that I don't necessarily have to bear the entire burden. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, one of the things that you've probably seen, I've let little things out here and there. Um, we have officially launched Wisdom Scooters. I've had people for the last two years ask me if and when we would ever do that. And for a long time, I was like, nah, I'm, I'm probably not gonna go into that space. But then God really started to put it on my heart that if, if there's opportunity there, why would I not go and capture that opportunity? And so if you go to wisdomscooters.com, there's a web page up there. There's not much information there yet. There is a Wisdom Scooters Instagram page that's out there too. Again, not much information there. I'm gonna share more details with you guys um, as that thing develops. And I'm hoping that it'll actually be full on and available to you by sometime in first quarter, which would be sometime before the end of March. You know, I've been thinking about this Wisdom Scooters thing for a while. And I've got this idea, I've got a product that I'm actually gonna bring to the scooter industry. I haven't shared, I haven't shared the details with anybody, so nobody knows what it is. You can don't ask in comments what it is because I'm not gonna tell you. I can tell you though that I believe it's going to be really awesome. It's a, it's something that doesn't exist in the scooter industry today. And I believe it it would work for anybody and everybody to make your scootering experience awesome and to help you as you are as you're progressing in your scootering and so i as soon as i have the opportunity to get through the manufacturing cycles with that and and get ready for release on that i will definitely make that available to you guys you'll definitely see it on our instagram and you'll also see it on the web page and and everywhere else where we've got content another really cool thing and the reason why this whole wisdom scooters thing came about right now is because God brought this kid into my life out of the blue. He reached out to me on my Instagram DM. His name is Kynan. I hope I'm saying that right. He and I were back and forth. I'm pretty sure it's Kynan. He's a guy out of Australia. He's 13 years old. And I had hoped that we would actually be able to get together and, um, and do a web conference so I could introduce him to you. I'm gonna link his information down below so you can look him up. He's, uh, he's got a bigger following on YouTube than I do. 
he's got a bigger following on Instagram than I do, which both of those isn't really saying a lot right now, but the kid is pretty awesome. He's a Christian. He, um, he seems to be extremely entrepreneurial, and he is 100% invested in this whole Wisdom Scooters movement. He has, the reason why all of this stuff is even, is even out there today is because he pursued me on that. Now, you know, his mom, his mom got a little freaked out because he was talking with, with this guy that she doesn't know in America and she and I have, have traded messages back and forth and, and she's, she's come into being cool with us being connected. Um, he's an Australian guy and uh, I love his heart. Um, I, I am excited to see what would happen. So he's going to be pursuing some stuff over in Australia and helping us to promo the whole Wisdom Scooters brand. And uh, I think you guys are really like him. So I would recommend that you you look him up on, on YouTube and Instagram and give him some subs and follow him because he's going to be a cool guy to know. And with his whole heart and his whole attitude, this kid's really going to go far. I don't know what God has in store for his life, but I am super stoked that kind and you connected with me, man. So thank you for pushing me. Um, sometimes you're driving me a little crazy because you're so persistent, but I have to tell you that I needed that. I needed that extra push. I've had this thing sitting on my desk for a while that says, don't procrastinate. And I've been procrastinating. <laughs> <laughs> with wisdom scooters and so kind and you have actually forced me to stop procrastinating and I want to thank you for that so thanks man high five I appreciate you in regards to wisdom skateboards that is not going away we're not trading skateboards for scooters wisdom skateboards is still full-on still growing still advancing um, we're actually bringing on a new team member he's a mystery guy right now I don't want to release his name and stuff to you yet but Within the next week or so, uh, we're actually actively preparing his welcome video. As soon as his welcome video is ready, we're gonna publish that and get that out for you guys, and then we'll have his bio and everything out. He actually is in Southern California, and he is actively involved in skateboarding ministry. He has his own skateboarding ministry that he started and, and that he runs. Um, he's a really cool guy, super chill, but very focused. His mission perfectly aligns with our mission. And so I am super stoked to introduce him to you guys. He's gonna be a great addition to the Wisdom family. And, uh, and I just, I can't wait to share with you what, uh, what's going on. Now, in light of scheduling and in light of uh, everything else that's going on, I am working on another vlog that's gonna happen um, the beginning to the middle of February, I'm coordinating with some people um, in regards to kind of showcasing the scooter scene in Central Florida. Um, I've been speaking with Catherine down at Ready to Petty, and I'm gonna get with my my homies at Jericho. We've got some. We've got guys gonna join us from different places here in Central Florida to help us make sure that we um, that we cover the the breadth of the state and I think it's going to be really awesome so when that's ready I hope you guys will tune in for that and then also while I'm up here in Myrtle Beach I've got a, a friend named Mike Steinkamp I introduced you guys to him a couple of weeks ago I told you that I was going to meet he and I are going to meet on Thursday evening of this week and and uh, you know we're gonna I'm gonna vlog with him and get to hang out Mike is a super cool guy man he um, he's a skateboarding evangelist. He has a great heart, and he's just an all-around good dude. So I can't wait to hang out with him. It's been a long time since I've seen him. It's been, I don't know, maybe four or five months. And so I'm really looking forward to being able to hang out with him. Judd Heald's going to be coming down uh, to, uh, to the Daytona, Tampa area for the Tampa Pro in March. So I'm really looking forward to hanging out with him. And... Uh, you know, so some really cool things are stacking up. I'm hoping to get down to hang out with Yuli from Christian Skaters and, and uh, vlog with him too. So, you know, my vlog schedule is really starting to, uh, starting to stack up and I am really looking forward to it. But, you know, all that to say, I wanna say again, you know, just like Proverbs said, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. You know, my wife is my, she's my mate. She's my friend, she's my best friend. Um, she keeps me in check. She keeps me grounded. Uh, she fills in the gaps where I'm weak. 
and I fill in the gaps where she's weak. And you know, it's cool when you're young and you date and, and you, you hang out with girls or guys, you know, and, and that's important. That, that helps you to understand what, what building a relationship looks like and, and how to take care of each other. But it's not like marriage. You know, marriage is a union. God says, the Bible tells us that when, when two people are married, a man and a woman are married, they become one. They're not, they're not two individuals anymore. They're one. And that union is powerful. And so I want you to know that as much as I'm investing in you guys and my action sports life, you know, wherever God may take me with that, I'm investing more so in the relationship with my wife. And so honey, if you see this, I want you to know that I love you more than anything. And I am so stoked that you're in my life. You, you really do complete me. And I know that's cliche and, and sounds goofy, but she really does. You do complete me. And so I appreciate you unifying yourself with me. And I look forward to seeing where the next 20 and 40 and 50 years of our life takes us because I really think there's some cool things in store for us. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And, and I hope that um, if you get the opportunity to come to Myrtle Beach, I highly recommend it. This is a beautiful place. And uh, I look forward to kind of going and seeing some of the things that I've done here in the past and hanging out. I love you guys. Take care. God bless. Mm -hmm.